President Trump is reiterating his threat to target Iranian cultural sites if Tehran retaliates. That, in fact, would be a war crime. Seeing as Boris Sanchev is live at the White House with more on what the president said last night. You know, Boris, this fits a regular pattern. The president tweets something. His aides and advisors, administration officials deny that he said it. And then the president, given a chance, says, no, 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 no. That's exactly what I meant. Bomb Iranian cultural sites. You're absolutely right, John. The president here flirting with the potential of committing war crimes against Iran. He was adamant in his discussion with reporters about Air Force One yesterday when returning from his Mar-a-Lago estate to Washington, D.C. He contradicted his own secretary of state, Mike Pompeo, who said that uh, bombing Iranian cultural heritage sites was not on the table. He's already facing resistance within his own administration. Several officials telling CNN uh, that they're opposed to such a measure and the president will face uh, some kind of resistance inside. Nevertheless, this is what he said. He's standing by this. He says, quote, they're allowed to kill our people. They're allowed to torture and maim our people. They're allowed to use roadside bombs and blow up our people. And we're not allowed to touch their cultural sites. It doesn't work that way. Uh, the president effectively accusing Iran of committing atrocities themselves. Uh, the White House also dealing with news from House Speaker Nancy Pelosi. Yesterday, she put out a statement announcing that she would present a resolution to her caucus to try to limit some of the president's uh, abilities to respond to an Iranian attack. This coming on the heels of a tweet by the president declaring that he is going to respond to any Iranian aggression with, take a look, quote, a disproportionate manner. Uh, the president saying that this tweet is an attempt to notify Congress of his intent. He adds, quote, such legal notice is not required but is given nevertheless. Of course, we've asked the White House to respond to this news coming from the House Speaker. They have yet to. Allison.